Well, drag another one in. Needs to be cleaned up. It's an old race car. I hadn't been raced in years. That's kind of the way we drag them in. We got us a, a floater here. We're going to cut, cut the brackets and everything off of it. It'll be for this car. This has got a real good cage in it. The cage is, is really good in it. It says it's got a standard rear end under it. Just a nine inch uh, housing, but it's not a floater. Still haven't got that transmission put in Matthew's car yet. We got it cleaned up, painted, ready to go. It's still sitting there saying, fix me. Hadn't done it yet. <clears throat> Started on this motor. No, it's not a small block Chevy. That's a big block Oldsmobile 455 going in my old car that's over there in the dust. Got everything piled on top of it, but got to pull the motor out of this one. Got to put a starter ring on it. Got the headers pulled off and uh, got to change the rear end housing out in it. It's bent. Got to do that. <clears throat> got the right front put back together on it so uh, got a lot of work to do just been busy here lately as you can see dragging in more race cars <coughs> but uh, we got a lot of work to do before March comes around here April whenever the racing season hits but uh, we're gonna have one of these going if not two uh, I've got the makings of a motor for this one. Just got to get it there. This looks pretty but pretty rough, but it's not as far out as you'd think. So, just got to do a few little upgrades. Matthew's got that one looking real good. Just need to get some lettering on it. It'd look real good then. But uh, he's got the body shaped out, looking good. So uh, anyway, that's where we're at. Just a little update. It's been a while, so uh, stay tuned. I'm working on a big video to try to get out. So stay with us. We'll be back just as soon as we can. All right. See you later, guys.